Hi guys, welcome back. Chris here from DIY Astro. Tonight's subject is laser collimators and they're quite controversial and I'll talk about why. So first of all, very briefly, for anyone that doesn't know, collimation is just simply the process of aligning all the mirrors, for example, in your telescope to get the best focus possible. And we can use a number of different tools to achieve this, such as collimation caps or a Cheshire collimator. And there's also laser collimators. There's many more, but they're the, the common ones. Now, a for the Cheshire and the collimation cap, you're just peering for a little hole to align all your optics. And with a laser collimator, you're actually using, as the name suggests, it's like a laser beam to align all your optics. But there's a problem with lasers and they get a bit of a bad reputation. So a lot of people really don't like laser collimators. But my, my aim tonight is to get you to love laser collimators by showing you one simple procedure to get your laser collimator singing. Now, the ironic thing about laser collimators is even if you buy an expensive one, they can sometimes turn up out of collimation themselves. It's a bit like the film Inception when you're in a dream, but you're a dream in a dream. Laser collimators need collimating when they're already a collimator. Now that's fine if your laser collimator's got adjustments on it to actually collimate your laser collimator. And this brings me on to the point that when you're shopping to buy a laser collimator, look for those three holes around the outside of the barrel that you can actually make those collimation adjustments to the collimator. Anyway, let's jump across and look at my method for, well, it's not my method, but it's the method for collimating a laser collimator. This is my cheap laser collimator I bought from eBay many years ago. And as you can see, despite the cheapness of it, I, it's got three adjustment holes to make adjustments to the collimation. So what we need is some way of holding this very steady so we can point it at a wall, turn it on on full blast and rotate it and look how that red dot behaves. I went in the garage, found a couple of off cuts of wood used a saw and a hammer and I've knocked up this homemade V-block. It's got a couple of nails either side, just hold these two bits of wood to that little board at the bottom. I've used blue tack on the bottom as well, so it sticks really nicely to a surface and doesn't move around. And now this is gonna support the collimator either side, so it stays lovely and steady and we can rotate that, point it at a wall, I've got a bit of paper on the wall with a dot on it, several meters away. If the dot stays exactly in, on the dot on the wall and doesn't move as you rotate it, your collimator is perfect. But if you notice the, um, the red dot kind of orbiting your black dot on the, on the paper, <laughs> like a little solar system or binary system, then your collimator needs collimating. So all you do is make small adjustments to the screws and then turn and see if it improves or not. If it gets worse, make that small adjustment back again, try a different screw. It's like when you're making adjustments to your telescope collimation, it's exactly the same with a laser collimator. Just small adjustments, if it makes it worse, go back and try a different screw, but always small adjustments. You can't go wrong if you make small adjustments and remember which way you went because you can always reverse it. But if you make a big adjustment and don't remember which screw it is, then you can get into a bit of trouble. So small adjustments and often until things improve. If you notice, if you notice it's getting better, keep doing that. If it's getting worse, try something, try a different screw. If you've not got a couple of bits of wood, but you've got a focus mask like this star sharp focus mask, what you can do is you can lean that again something and use the prongs that are normally used for holding it onto a telescope and you can use that as a v-block and rotate it round on there. You could probably also use a couple of cans of beans strapped together with sellotape. I've not tried that one yet but maybe I will but what I'm saying is you don't need to have an engineer's v-block for this. You can, you can have anything that forms a v 
or a solid groove where you can keep this laser collimator steady enough to point it at a wall and see how that red dot behaves.